Ugh, Julio, that dumbass. This guard looks like he is in charge here. Hello, I'm Senior Officer Phoenix Wallace from the Adrianopolis Peace and Security Center. I'm here to see Captain Juan Antonio Perez. And what is this regarding, ma'am? Official peace and security business. Okay. First, you need to contact the personnel office. They can direct you to Captain Perez. Thank you. And how do I find the personnel office? I will arrange for someone to take you there. Please follow me. Officer Wallace from the Peace and Security Division. Please escort her to the personnel office. Her name appears to be Ashlyn Monahan. Corporal Ashley Monahan? Yes, and who's asking? Hi, I'm Senior Officer Phoenix Wallace from the Adrianopolis Peace and Security Center. Hi, Officer Wallace. What can I do for you? I'm here in an official capacity. I need to find Captain Juan Antonio Perez, service number 3865959. Five, and what type of official business are you conducting about Captain Perez? It is regarding a murder case, Corporal. A murder case? Who's been murdered? A Union citizen by the name of Vasily Bogdanov was murdered, and I'm conducting the investigation. A Union citizen? Murdered? When? Where? In Odessa, Russia, on April 6th. I must inform you that the case has been ordered confidential by a judge. Oh, I understand. And may I ask what Captain Perez has to do with this investigation? I'm not sure yet, but I was hoping that he would be able to provide some answers regarding my case. Unfortunately, Captain Perez cannot answer any of your questions. And why is that? Has he been reassigned? No. I regret to inform you that Captain Perez died on the night of April 1st. He died? Are we talking about the same man here? Captain Juan Antonio Perez with a service number of... 3865959. Yes, I'm afraid so. Officer Monahan, can you tell me how Captain Perez died? In a plane crash while on duty. Oh, how tragic. But how? He was flying a military cargo plane, and it crashed into the side of a mountain. My goodness. I thought this kind of tragedy only happened on Holovision shows. I'm afraid this accident was very real. But I haven't heard anything on the news about this. As is your case, Officer Wallace. This case is classified too. I understand. How did the staff react to his death? We were all upset. Captain Perez was a liked man among the staff. The personnel here had a very high regard for him. How about his piloting skills? Was he an experienced pilot? Indeed he was. His flight record was impeccable. So, did this raise any suspicions of a possible malfunction, or even sabotage? I am not involved in the accident investigation, but I can tell you one thing. There hasn't been a single sabotage in the GPSN's military history. Really? I didn't know that. Yes, we have an excellent track record. Did you know Captain Perez personally? No, I did not. How long had he been stationed here, in Adrianopolis? I'm afraid that information is classified. How about his personal interests? The places he used to hang out? Officer Wallace, 
I have no information about his personal life at all. Isn't there anyone who can tell me about this man? As a matter of fact, there is. Who is it? Please tell me. You may want to talk to the First Lieutenant Ulrika Thorson. And who may that be? His former co-worker? No. Officers Perez and Thorson were sexual partners. Oh. How can I get in touch with Officer Thorson? She is commissioned here at the base. You can find her office in Logistics Wing. Thank you for your assistance, Corporal Monaghan. You've been very helpful. And good luck to you with your investigation, Officer Wallace. It's a fire extinguisher. Hmm. Maybe First Lieutenant Thorson has something to do with the fire code here. It's a fire exit chart. Wow. Thorson is one of the fire marshals. I should be able to find her room now. May I help you? I'm Senior Peace Officer Phoenix Wallace, from the Peace Center here in Adrianopolis. How can I help you, Officer Wallace? I need to speak with you regarding your late sexual partner, Captain Juan Antonio Perez. Officer Thorson, how long did you know Captain Perez? For more than three years. Did you happen to work with him? Yes, I did. We worked on several projects together. Did you enjoy working with him? Sure. He was a hard worker and a very funny person. And a good pilot, I hear. He was one of the most experienced at our base. But wait a minute. Why are you asking me all these questions? I'm working on a murder case, and Captain Perez's name came up during my investigation. A murder case? What murder case? A Union citizen named Vasily Bogdanov was murdered in Odessa, Russia. Murdered in Odessa? I didn't know one of our citizens was murdered there. The case is being kept confidential until further investigation is made. I see. And what does Antonio have to do with this murder? His name was on a list of Mr. Bogdanov's. What kind of list? I'm still working on that. When did this murder happen, anyway? On April 6th? Antonio was already dead by then. Yes, I know. So, what is your duty here, Officer Thorson? I am responsible for the logistics of our operations on the eastern border. And what does that exactly constitute? Our troops and installations along the border have certain needs. Any needs they require, now or in the future, are my responsibility. You have a tremendous load on your shoulders, Officer Thorson. Yes, I do. Are you ever in touch with the rogue state authorities? Occasionally, I am. Remember, it's their border too. And they also have plenty of installations. Are you on friendly terms with them? Generally, we are. I mostly deal with the Russians. 
and their officers are very kind and courteous. If they have friendly intentions, then why do we have so much security along the border? Why do you think they are called the rogue states? It's because we don't know what they are up to. They are very unpredictable and untrustworthy. Besides, there are vicious criminal groups over there that the Russian government has no control over. You're a peace officer, you should know about all this. Just wanted to get the opinion of a border security expert. So, tell me, Officer Thorson, was Captain Perez interested in art? In art? Are you sure this is related to your investigation? Yes, it is. Well, let me tell you. Antonio was not an art enthusiast. Are you sure, Officer Thorson? Of course. He couldn't identify a Picasso, even if it was right before his eyes. I see. So he didn't mention any art interests to you recently? No. Antonio and I only had limited time together, so we usually focused on other, more immediate needs. Physical needs? Exactly. Does your duty include dealing with the rogue state authorities? Yes, it does. How often are you in contact with them? It varies. The contact is established whenever there is a need. Sometimes we have an open channel all day long. Sometimes we go without contact for months. Are you on friendly terms with the rogue state authorities? Generally, we are. I mostly deal with the Russians, and their officers are very kind and courteous. If they have friendly intentions, then why do we have so much security along the border? Why do you think they are called the rogue states? It's because we don't know what they are up to. They are very unpredictable and untrustworthy. Besides, there are vicious criminal groups over there that the Russian government has no control over. You're a peace officer, you should know about all this. Just wanted to get the opinion of a border security expert. Did Captain Perez ever mention going to the Thing Store? A uh, what store? The Thing Store, down at the Pyramid. I am sorry, Officer Wallace, but we have a very busy schedule at this base. We rarely have time to browse the Pyramid. Oh, that's so unfortunate. There are great stores at the Pyramid, and the Thing Store happens to be one of my favorites. And uh, what do they sell in these Thing Stores? Oh. All kinds of original decorative ornaments. What did you say the name of the store was? The Thing Store. I remember Antonio talking about a Thing Store, but I never thought Thing was actually the name of the store. It is, and I suggest you check it out sometime. I will try to remember to do that, Officer Wallace. I have an urgent call from my headquarters first lieutenant Thorson. Can we continue at another time? Certainly. Officer Wallace. Goodbye. Goodbye. Julio finally came up with some useful information. Right, Julio? Uh, yes, Chief. We're all ears. Julio? Oh, yes. This Bogdanov fellow. Please, a little respect. Addressing a deceased person. Sure. Um, Mr. Bogdanov arrived to the Union three years ago. Okay, we already know that. Tell us something new, Julio. He brought more than $1.3 million with him. Wow. An impressive amount. I wonder where he got it from. I have more gossipy stuff, too. Excuse me, what kind of stuff? Uh, just that he immigrated with his nuptial partner. In Russia, of course. And what was her name? Larissa Lukin, his primary sexual partner, was his former nuptial partner. No way. I suppose Miss Lukin never mentioned this to you, Phoenix? No, she did not. Very well. What else, Julio? Um, yes. There's a stuff about his finances. What about his finances? He made a lot of money. 
for the last two months. And then bang. What does bang mean, Julio? Oh, he withdrew it all on April 6th. What did he do with it? He took a banker's check. Curious. Why would he want to do that? Anything else? Not really. I uploaded all the details to your PAs. Thank you, Julio. Your timing was somewhat late. But nevertheless, let me add that we have an autopsy report for Mr. Bogdanov. He was murdered by a 9mm firearm. 9mm is a typical bullet size for a handgun in the rogue states. Ouch. That would hurt. Yes, Julio. No. Julio, you are dismissed. I had a look at Bogdanov's financial information, and I found it to be very interesting. I suggest you take a close look at it. Sure, Chief, provided that Julio uploaded it to my PA. I'm sure he did. He may not be as smart as you are, but he's definitely very ambitious. He sees this case as an important stepping stone for his future, and so should you. Yes, Chief, of course I do. You need to be more convincing than that. So far, your progress in this case has been average. I suggest you focus better, or else you may lose your status as my lead investigative officer. I... I understand, Chief. Good. I also noticed Melvin Phillips Spencer's name in Bogdanov's bank records. What do you make of that? Oh, the man that died using the illegal device. I don't know, but I can investigate. Do that, but don't spend too much time on it. That case is being handled by our headquarters, and I don't want you to step on anybody's toes. Sure, Chief. I'll be careful. I'll get Spencer's autopsy report sent to you. One more thing. After you carefully examine Bogdanov's finances, ask Pierre Deville's opinion. I bet he'll make some interesting remarks. Pierre Deville? All right. In the meantime, I believe you have certain questions to ask Ms. Lukin. PA, access GPSN census database and add Melvin Spencer's address to my navigation map. But I better pay a visit to Larissa first. She's been hiding stuff from me. Hi, Larissa. Oh, hi again, dear. Sit down. Thank you. How are you today? Oh, maybe a little better. How is the investigation going? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. Oh, did you find out who the murderer is? Not yet, but there are some issues that make me concerned. Oh, is there anything I can do to help? Larissa, I am totally disappointed with you. Phoenix, why, dear? Because you have been lying to me about your past. Oh, now who we? You lied to me about your history with Mr. Bogdanov, and I want to know why. I was scared. Of what? You know, nuptial agreement. Not acceptable. We decided to keep it a secret. Come on. You don't expect me to believe that. I want the truth this time, not any petty excuses. I was scared. Really scared. Of what? The Gambinos. What did you say you're scared of? The Gambinos. Who are the Gambinos? They are the scariest people of Russia. What do they do? They are the biggest Russian mafia. Why are you scared of the Gambinos? Because Vasily used to be one of them. You must be joking. Unfortunately not. Was Mr. Bogdanov still linked with the Gambinos while he was living in the Union? Surely not. He stole money from them so that we could come here. I wonder how he got away with it. Vasily was a very clever and trusted man. He is not one of the notorious. They trusted him with the money. So he stole from them to come to the Union? Yes. He told me he cannot take it anymore, so we made a plan. Why are you scared of them now? 
Is it possible that they are linked to the murder? Oh, I don't know. They do have a reason. Indeed, they do. Larissa, lying to a GPSN employee is a serious offense. You should know better. I know, Felix. I told you I was not emotionally fit to behave politically correct. I suppose you did, but you must never do it again. Understood? Promise, my dear. I have other things to get done today, but I'll be back. So Bogdanov used to be a Gambino crime family member. So hard to believe. Yet Larissa sounded convincing enough for a change. I know it's late, but I need to report my findings to Chief Morrison. You'd better have a good reason for bringing me here this late. Larissa Lucan claims that Vasily Bogdanov used to be a member of the Gambino crime family of Russia. You don't say? Mr. Bogdanov must have been a graduate of the Randy Hamilton School of Security. I beg your pardon, Chief. Are you talking about Senior Officer Randy Hamilton, my predecessor? I didn't know he owned a school for security training. Of course he didn't. I was being sarcastic. When I started my tenure here five years ago, Randy was the only security screening interviewer. Later we learned that many of the novices he had interviewed and approved were convicted of serious crimes committed once they were living in the Union. I immediately suspended and eventually fired him when I had gathered enough scientific evidence. Oh, I didn't know that. Was he that bad of an interviewer? Yes, and he was a terrible judge of character. I think he believed that everybody had a right to live in the Union. I even had to take over the interviews myself until I commissioned you and a few others. I see. Phoenix, I want you to pretend that you know nothing about the shortcomings of Randy Hamilton. Maybe our Ms. Lucan has more skeletons to offer us from her closet. Evidently, Larissa Lucan told me that Bogdanov had been a Gambino accountant, and that he was never a part of any duty involving violence. She insists that Bogdanov hated being part of a crime family, and so he took the risk of stealing money in order to immigrate here. A Gambino accountant on the run? <gasps> hmm, they certainly have a reason to fry his ass. Excuse me, Chief. I said the Gambinos have a very good reason to have had this man killed. Don't you agree? I certainly do, Chief. I only have a little time. Continue. You were right about Bogdanov's seven-digit number, Chief. It belonged to a Captain Juan Antonio Perez of the GPSN military. So, did you find this Captain Perez? Does he have anything to do with Bogdanov? I can't tell yet, Chief. And unfortunately, Captain Perez isn't around to answer my questions either. He's dead. What? How did he die? He died in a plane crash over Russian soil. The details of the accident are being kept confidential. Who's your contact there? I talked to the Personnel Officer Corporal Monaghan and First Lieutenant Thorson, who happened to be Perez's sexual partner. First Lieutenant Thorson had known Captain Perez for more than three years. She claims that Perez was one of the most experienced pilots at their base. I have nothing further to mention at this time.